Hello everyone, today our topic is how to add Facebook lead ads leads to Zoho CRM. So here my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new Facebook lead from Facebook lead ads, then automatically I'm going to capture that lead details and I'm going to add these details in my Zoho CRM account. So for that, I have to build a simple connection between Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Pabli Connect, I have to use trigger and action. In trigger application, I'm going to use Facebook lead ads. In action application, I'm going to use Zoho CRM. So how I'm going to build this connection for that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can add Facebook lead ads leads to Zoho CRM. So I am running a business. And for that, I have created this Facebook page, which is named as Pabli Connect. And to promote my business, I'm running an ad campaign on my Facebook page through which I'm getting a lot of leads. But I couldn't use to add all the leads to my Zoho CRM account because I used to do that manually. And that takes a lot of time and energy. So I usually missed a lot of leads from adding them in my Zoho CRM account. And then I got to know about Pabli Connect and automation. And by using Pabli Connect, I built a simple connection between my Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM account. Now, whenever I get a new lead from Facebook lead ads, then automatically I add those leads in my Zoho CRM account. And like this, I never miss any of my lead and my business is growing very well. So here I'm going to show you how you can set up this automation by using Pabli Connect. So for that, what you have to do is you have to open a new tab and first search for pabli.com slash connect. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Pabli, you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in and you will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I have to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect and this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is a folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now here, I want to create a new workflow. For that, I have to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to add Facebook lead ads leads to Zoho CRM. Now I have to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, I will find all the folders that I've created in my Pabli Connect account. And here I want to use this particular folder of Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we have to set up our trigger first and here my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. So I'm going to select Facebook lead ads here. And now I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab a new lead instant will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Facebook lead ads. And here my connection is successful as I have already logged into my Facebook account in my browser. So it has detected that. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect. And here I have these two tabs, page and lead gen form. So here what I have to do is I have to first select my page that I'm going to use to get the leads. So I'm going to go back to my Facebook account and this is my Facebook page, which is named as Pabli Connect. So I have to go back to Pabli Connect and here I have to select my page. So I'm going to open this tab and in this tab, you will find all the pages that you have created in your Facebook account. So I'm going to select my page, which is Pabli Connect. So I'm going to search for that and I'm going to select this. So my page is selected here. Now I need the lead generation form. So for that, what you have to do is, so you can use any particular lead generation form or you can use all the lead generation form to generate the leads. So I'm going to select all lead generation forms. And here we have this important note, which says, please note that after clicking the save and set test request button, you will need to generate sample submission of your lead ad form by clicking on the preview form button and filling out the form. Make sure that the lead generation form is live before making the sample submission. Now here, what I have to do is I have to click on save and send test request button. And here it is waiting for web response. 
So how I'm going to get this web hook response? For that, I have to use Meta for developer. And by using Meta for developer, I'm going to create a sample submission of my lead so that I can get the response of my lead here in Pabli Connect. So for creating the sample submission, I'm going to open Meta for developer. Now let me take you to Meta for developer. And here I have to go to more. And in this, I have this option of tools. So I'm going to open this. And in tools, I'm going to find this lead ads RTU debug tools. So we are going to use this. So I'm going to open this. And here we have two tabs, page and form. So I'm going to select my page here. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I have to select my page, which is Pabli Connect. So I'm going to select this. And now my form is already selected. Now what I need to do is I need to click on preview form button. And after previewing my form, I have to fill the dummy details in my form to create a sample submission. And I have to create a new lead. So I'm going to click here. So this is going to be my form. And in this, I have to fill the dummy details. So my first name will be new. Last name will be lead. My email will be new lead at the rate pablitudes.com. And now I have to give the phone number for my lead. So I'm going to give any random mobile number. So this will be my phone number of my lead. Now I have to give the city. So my city will be indoor and I have to click on next. And now I have to click on submit. So I have submitted my form and I have created this new lead. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to public connect. And here we can see I have received this response. So in the response, I have the first name of my lead, which is new last name is lead. And I have the email address, which is new lead at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the random mobile number and the city is indoor. So these were the details that I have filled in my lead generation form for creating a new lead. And I have received all these details here in public connect. Now what I need to do is I need to use all these details and I have to add these details in my Zoho CRM account as a new lead. So for that, I have to set up my actions tab. So I'm going to open this tab. And here my action application is going to be Zoho CRM. So I'm going to select Zoho CRM here. And now I have to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and insert slash update record will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect Zoho CRM with public connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection and I will connect with Zoho CRM. Now for connecting Zoho CRM, what I have to do is I have to first give the domain. So for that, I have to take you to my Zoho CRM account. And here I have this domain of Zoho.in. So I'm going to map this in public connect. So let's go back to public connect. So here I have to type my domain, which is going to be Zoho.in. And now I have to click on save. And here I have this window. So here I have to click on accept to give access to my account. So I'm going to click here. And my connection here is successful. Now I have to give the module name. And for that, I have to open this tab. And here I'm going to create a new lead. So I'm going to select lead as my module. So I'm going to select this. Now here we can see all the details have changed according to my module. And here we have all these tabs to create a new lead. Now what I need to do is I need to use the response that I've received from my Facebook lead ads account for the new Facebook lead. And I have to use all these details to create a new lead in Zoho CRM. So I have the first name and the last name of my lead. So I'm going to map that here. So I'm going to use the response that I've received from Facebook lead ads and I'm going to map that here. For that, I have to use mapping. And what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I have to click here. I will open the response of Facebook lead ads. And here, this is the first name of my lead. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to map the last name. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Facebook lead ads. And this is the last name. So I'm going to map this. Now I have the email address. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Facebook lead ads. And this is my email address. So I'm going to map this. Now I have to map the mobile number. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Facebook lead ads. And this is the mobile number. So I'm going to map this. And now I have the last detail, which is of a city. So here I have this tab of city. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this response. And this is my city, which is indoor. So I'm going to map this. And here I have filled all the required details and all the details that I've received from Facebook lead ads of my new Facebook lead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response. And this means that I have created this new lead with the details of my Facebook lead that I've received from Facebook lead ads in Zoho CRM. Now to check this, I'm going to go back to Zoho CRM. And here I will go to leads. And in this, we can see I have created this new lead with the name of new lead. And I have the email address, which is new lead at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to open this. So this is my new lead, which I have created in Zoho CRM with the details of the new lead that I've received from Facebook lead ads. So here the name of my lead is new lead. I have this random mobile number. And also in this, I have the city, which is indoor. 
and this is my email address which is newlead at the rate pavlitudes.com so here we can see that my connection between Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM is working successfully and these are all the details that I have used to create a new lead in Facebook lead ads and by using all those details I have created a new lead in my Zoho CRM account. So here my connection between Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM is working successfully. So whenever I'm going to receive a new lead from Facebook lead ads then automatically I'm going to use those lead details to create a new lead in Zoho CRM. Now to check this in real time, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go back to Metafor Developer. I'm going to close this. I'm going to delete this lead and I'm going to preview this form one more time. And I'm going to fill this form with dummy details. So my first name is going to be test. Last name will be lead. Email will be testlead at the rate pavlitudes.com. I'm going to give any random mobile number. And now I have to give the city. So my city will be Bhopal. And now I have to click on next. I will click on submit. And I have created this new lead. Now what should happen is by automatically using this new lead details that I've just created in Facebook lead ads, a new lead will be created automatically in my Zoho CRM account. Now to check this, I have to go back to Zoho CRM. I will go back. And in this we can see I have this new lead which is named as test lead. So I'm going to open this. So here the lead name is test lead. I have the email address which is test lead at the rate I have the mobile number and also I have the city which is Bhopal. So these are all the details that I've just filled in my lead generation form in Facebook lead ads and I have used all these lead details to create a new lead in Zoho CRM. So here we can see that my connection between Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM is working successfully and whenever I'm going to receive a new Facebook lead from Facebook lead ads then automatically I'm going to add that lead in my Zoho CRM account. Now let's go back to Pabli Connect. And here I have built this connection between Facebook lead ads and Zoho CRM. Now that whenever I'm going to receive a new Facebook lead from Facebook lead ads, then automatically I'm going to add that lead in my Zoho CRM account. Now let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Facebook lead ads and my trigger event was new lead instant. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Zoho CRM and my action event was insert slash update record. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.